Just because it comes from a designer does not mean it's worth the money. Lately, it feels like designers are just slapping their logo on anything, no matter the quality, just to make a sale. So let's talk about Amazon inspired shoes that get you the look for less. Make sure you stay to the end of the video when I show you these shoes that are so popular right now that everybody wants, but I found the look for less for a ridiculously low price. Are these shoes not stunning? And they look exactly like the Jimmy Choo Bing shoes, which would cost you over a thousand dollars. I actually owned the Jimmy Choo version and I ended up selling it because I didn't think the shoes were very comfortable and I only wore them twice, which is an absolute shame for the amount of money they cost. So when I tell you these look so, so similar, they really, really do. These actually are a little bit more cushioned than the Jimmy Choo, which I find more comfortable. The Jimmy Choo does not have like a cushiony bottom. I prefer the cushiony bottom on the look for less. I found these a little bit easier to walk in than the Jimmy Choo. These are stunning though. These would be perfect for any event that you have coming up and you're gonna spend like a fraction of the price. On Amazon, they do have these in different colors and right now they're around $60. However, Amazon is always changing the prices of things. Well, not Amazon, but the people selling it. So just buyer beware. Sometimes I don't say the prices in my video because I know that they're constantly changing. And one shady thing that sellers do is if an item becomes super popular and they're making a lot of sales, sometimes they increase the price. So if there's ever something you want, definitely get it now before it gets too popular or you're gonna end up spending more money. I saw these bow shoes and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. They look just like the Loeffler Randall. So I have these in the flat version. And as you can see, they look super similar. The Loeffler Randall version is a little bit of a lighter gold, but it's very much the same vibe, the same aesthetic. And no one's gonna be able to tell when you're wearing these that it's a different shade of gold unless you're sitting here comparing them. So these are a really good look for less. I love these shoes around the holiday and I feel like every woman needs a pair of gold heels in their life and these are just so fun and they're super comfortable. The block heel makes it really easy to walk in and these also come in other colors, but this is such a cute shoe and I really love the designer version. So I think this is a great inspired version. These shoes are such a vibe and when I tell you they look exactly like the Alaya version, but for a much, much cheaper cost, the Alaya version is $1,300 and I think that's absolutely criminal for what they are. They're literally a pair of fishnet ballet shoes. Like nobody should be charging $1,300 for a pair of fishnet shoes. Like that is insane to me. And that is the type of thing that is really getting on my nerves with these designer brands. Like I do love a good luxury shoe or bag, but I'm really getting annoyed. And I think a lot of people are with the absolute ridiculous prices for not great quality. Like fishnet shoes should not cost over a thousand dollars. So it's Amazon for me. I'm obsessed with these. These are so cool. They're so trendy. Not only the material, but also just the trend factor to me makes it worth getting the inspired version over the designer one because these are super trendy. They're probably not gonna be in style for very long, but ballet thoughts are really in right now. The fishnet look is in, and I love this little gold detail. And these literally look just like the Alaya ones, but girl, do not spend $1,300 on fishnet shoes. If you like those shoes, but you're not a fan of the gold, the brand does make them without the gold. And I found an inspired version as well, because again, do not spend your hard earned money on fish nets. That is just wild to me. Definitely get the inspired version for this shoe. I think they're so cute. And the Amazon one honestly looks exactly like the designer one. So these are a buy for me. These are like a must have for the upcoming fall season as well. I think they'll be super cute with some dark fall aesthetic vibes. Obviously until it gets too cold and you can't wear fishnet anymore, but I feel like these are great transition shoes from summer to fall. Ballet flats are really in style right now. It's a huge fashion trend for 2024. And these Amazon inspired shoes definitely are giving Chanel vibes. 
Chanel shoes will easily cost you over a thousand dollars and you can get these for a fraction of the price. The black and the tan are classic Chanel. These are so classy. These would be perfect for the office or just in everyday wear. Ballet flats are really, really on trend right now and super comfortable. This is giving all the Chanel vibes. A really cool shoe is the Saint Laurent Lees and these will cost you over a thousand dollars, but don't worry do you die because these look exactly like them they're even shiny they have that cool gold heel they have the gold buckle they literally look exactly like them and in my opinion this is the better buy just because they're such a trendy fun shoe and i just don't think the ysl ones are worth a thousand dollars i love these I think that these will also transition really well into fall and winter and they're just such a cool shoe. I just love these and this is a great, great find. I was so excited when I found these. The Gucci Horsebit shoes are a very popular and sophisticated shoe with the mule, but these are going to cost you upwards to $800 where you can get the look for less. And when I tell you it's the look for less, I mean, it's really the look for less. This looks just like them. These also come in other colors. I think the white is super classy though. I love the white with the gold on it, but yeah, the horse bit is actually very easy to do an inspired version of it just because there's no logo on these except the horse bit. It's not like it says Gucci or anything. Um, but these are so cute and classy. They're the perfect height. They're super easy to walk in. These are super comfortable and it's definitely giving designer. If you wanna be an Hermes girl, but you don't wanna spend the money, I totally get that. The famous Hermes Irons are gonna cost you over $700, close to 800 now with the price increases and these look just like them. So sometimes what I like to do personally is if something's on my wish list, but I'm not sure I'm gonna wear it a lot, is to get a designer inspired version and see if I reach for it. So that's what I'm doing with these Orans. I've heard pretty good things about the Hermes ones, but am I really gonna wear them a lot? I'm not always like a sandal girl. So I got these to try out to see if I'd ever want to invest in the real thing. And maybe I will, maybe I won't, but these are so, so good. They're so comfortable and they go with everything and they're definitely giving designer inspired. I don't think many people would be able to notice when you wear them if they're Hermes or not. And I know a lot of brands have come out with their own version of this, like Steve Madden and other brands, but these are Amazon Prime and ready to be at your doorstep. If you thought these shoes were good, you're gonna die when you see the handbags I found that look so designer that luxury brands don't want you to know that these exist. So you need to go check out that video next and I'll see you over there. Bye.